Not all the best droughts in the Sierra Nevada are collected into the popular guidebooks. There's a few that are hidden away. Like in a wreck, Don Mount Robinson is one of these. First climbed in 1969 by a party led by Don Jensen. Jensen was legendary for climbing everything in an old pair of leather Kronhofer boots. And over the years, he just got better. Anything rated 5'8 by Jensen is probably going to be at least 5'9 and probably 5'10. Like an has got a little bit of everything. A glacial approach, good climbing, pretty straightforward descent, all in the beauty of the Palisades above 5th, 6th and 7th lakes. The route starts off with some kind of loose, blocky climbing, but as you move directly onto the rip, it's a whole lot better. Climbing really gets good on the third pitch. Move up with a few hard moves to gain the arete where it's about 18 inches wide. Makes a perfect belay seat, the terrain just dropping off all around you. Yep, there. Get a little higher and reach right over the top to the very, very back. The hardest pitch is the one leading out of a notch and up the red tower. Don Jensen, 5'7". Little tricky to protect. Yep, up that way, yep. How about taking your rope and drop it over there? Make a loop from your waist over it. Yep. The route ends on what's known as the People's Pinnacle, a small rock tower on the east ridge of Robinson. From there, it's some down climbing, rappel, and scrambling back to the trail at San Magneto, and down to camp, in time for a glass of wine, to watch the sunset over the Palisades. Oh, let me do that too. Mm-hmm. <laughs>